So we have NC, CNC or DNC. NC stands for numerical, CNC stands for computer numerical control and DNC called as direct numerical control. In the NC machine, we are using the cards and the cards are previously punched as per the part, re part programming required and then that card is fed to the machine. According to the card program, you will get the job done, whatever the operations are there. In the computer control numerical uh, machine, we have a small computer attached to the machine and using that small computer, you can program it and you can make the part program also. So program can be altered or can be changed as per the requirement in the computer control system. Then number of advantages of computer control system is that you can adjust the step control, then you can adjust the control control, you can change the angle of rotations, all these programs are possible in computer control. So nowadays numerical control is absolute, rather than this we are using the computer control and direct on numerical control is that machine where we have several computer control machine is connected by one simple server. So number of machines that is CNC controlled by one single processing unit is called as DNC. So this one is basically direct control method. We have a central processing plant. Each computer network will control different CNC machines. So we have one uh, we, are, we are drilling a drilling, then we can do the milling or you can do some other operations. They are all different type of operation, but they are processed in one central unit. This simple one is called as the CNC machining. That is the only difference between the CNC and DNC. These are the few following advantages of the NC over CNC machine. We have a high repeatability and high precision that is aircraft parts. Volume production is very high. Complex control can be generated with <coughs> the CNC machine. For example, turbine blades. The profile of turbine blade is very difficult to ma manufacture. The flexibility in job, tool setting and we have a less scrap. More safe, higher productivity and better quality. And we require less paperwork because we don't require any punching card. And even you don't do the machining, you can check out simulation, what will be your final job. So that is the advantage in the case of CNC machine. So simulation can be available for CNC machine. Then secondly, do you require a skilled labor? The computer knowledge must be required for the operator. And then maintenance cost. And you require a special treatment for machine also. Because these uh, machines are working on semiconductor devices that is electronic parts. So you have to maintain the temperature to be maintained and humidity to be maintained. So you require AC room for these operations. CNC machine normally required, you have required a stepper motor and second we required a servo motor. Stepper motors are normally used for low torque and low speed. Means the batch production using the stepper motor will be always lower. Heavy operation cannot be performed by stepper motor because in the case of stepper motor, this is a torque diagram versus speed. The torque at no load is very high and the, as the speed will increase, torque will, will go on decreasing drastically. Now if the torque will decrease, basically the motor is like this and we have a poles here. We have a north pole, we have a south pole, we have a north pole and we have a south pole. So this is a magnetic concept here. The north, if the south pole will come, it will be attracted and if the north pole will come, it will be get distracted, it will be repelled. And therefore, the motion is set up in this one. And this motion is directly controlled to the lead screw through the gearbox. Now, at the high, high speed RPM, and if you are doing some job, if you are doing some drilling operation at a particular contour here, or you are doing the milling from this point to this point, then the machine, uh, the stepper motor can't analyze that what is the torque required at this one. It entirely depends on the skill of an operator. The milling cutter is not able to dig this part or will not be able to go through that particular part. In that case, the machine will not sense that and the tool will may lift from, the tool is like this. So the tool suppose by chance is not, is going to like this, but sometimes will be dig like this. So because of the hard material, it will try to force upward, but the motor is still moving because it is not able to take the heavy torque. Heavy torque it can take only on the lower speed. So again, you have to adjust this. So whatever the part you are getting, you are not getting the accurate part. That is the main problem with the stepper motor. Stepper motors are normally preferred for low torque. Say for example, printers. You have seen dot, dot matrix printer or inkjet printer. Torque required is very, very less. So you write one line here, then you write second line, third line, and every time it will be get back. 
so at every time you can move this paper by certain inches whereas the rotation of this one will rotate it one step complete as far as the simple electric motor is there we are not able to control the speed of this one we can control the speed but we are not able to control the angular motion that is this motion we are not able to control that is the step is not there because if you are moving your printer head from this point to this point it is not a one rotation it is a few degree of rotation it is a few degree of rotation that few degree of rotation is possible with the help of stepper motor and servo motor so these machines are very well suited for the low torque whereas servo motor has a characteristic i will just overlap over this so this one is the servo motor characteristic they are brushless ma machines so if the torque is almost constant over the wide range so the servo motor is more popular in the cnc as compared to stepper motor stepper motors the name stepper come from the steps made by the motor with every signal pulse it is simple to operate inexpensive compared to the servo motors and has a high reported accuracy it's a low speed torque that is the only issue enables the use of pulley reduction or timing belt allowing the several loads to be gearing exactly the stepper motor works so this one is one disc and there are slots here suppose i make 360 slots in this rotor then each one slot is representing 1 degree that is called as step angle suppose i make 180 slots in this one one slot will represents 2 degree of rotation so whatever the shaft we have here can we rotate this shaft by 2 degree and if you see this one i will just slightly enlarge it suppose i say this one is the shaft and this one is the side view of this one so suppose i say this is my movement and these are 180 holes 180 holes means we have total 360 degree so one hole has accuracy equals to 360 divided by 180 that is corresponds to a 2 degree now you can imagine what is a 2 degree so 2 degree means 2 divided by 360 multiplied by one cycle that is equal to 1 divided by 180 cycle can you control 1 by 180 cycle say in one cycle is this will rotate by 1 by 180 part and suppose this one is a lead screw then is this distance is called as pitch so this one is pitch will be same as lead for single start what is the pitch and this one is it a distance traveled by the lead screw in one revolution it means that if you have a nut over here if you have a nut over here that is a tool carriage then is this tool will travel distance is equals to l but that l in one revolution right now how many revolutions you are making 1 by 180 So suppose I say the pitch is 5 mm in one pulse that is from this one this one is called as pulse called as one pulse if I fired one pulse then how much angle is turned 2 degree means I covered one hole it means I covered 2 degree 2 degree means 1 by 180 cycle so what is the accuracy for this one is it 5 divided by 180 5 divided by 180 0.027 is it mm mm is it equal to 27 micron means one pulse is equals to what 27 micron 